Hello everyone, Desperado here with the final video in the Demo Record tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a few advanced tricks you can do with Demo Record, but there's something we need to take care of first. Make sure you have this. This is the Star Trek Online Demo Launcher by Rachel Garrett. There's a link to download it in the uh, description. If you don't have this, then you have been launching your demo files the extremely hard way and the pain in the ass way. Uh, not only does this give you the ability to click and select which demo file you want to play, it adds a few other features that we're going to get into first. But uh, before we do that, I want to show you this particular demo. This is the hallway demo. Uh, I'm going to show you the original because I've already modified the, uh, the one we're going to work on. So... Let's watch that one real quick and then I'll tell you a cool trick or two we can do. Alright, this is the hallway demo. Uh, this is the hallway of my ship, the USS Clipso uh, crew deck. And uh, it's going to be me and my friend. I've already put a camera path in here. This is a, it's a pretty cheaply made watch entity path. And it, it's not really very good. Don't, don't, so don't even try to comment on how bad it is. But uh, let's watch it through one time so you can see what, what it looks like. This is me and my friend Jess. Camera is focusing on Jess, not me. And if you wonder why I'm walking around like I'm drunk, it's because when I recorded this demo file, for some reason, I was lagging. So I always appeared that I was walking right on top of her when I recorded this, but in reality, I'm like five feet behind and to the right. So, yeah, it, it's that's why I look like I'm walking like I'm drunk. Keep an eye on that yellow thing, that the yellow words that pop up. It's a Stargate! Hi Jess, how you doing? Okay, so now that you know what a demo file looks like, I'm going to show you how you can replace the costumes. So we want to have a, a video of me and my first officer walking down the hallway. My first officer is one of my bridge officers, so I can't do that in game unless it's in a, an away mission. What I can do is have my friend, Jess, or if in your case, any friend you have, to walk down the hallway with me while I record this demo file. And then I can go back and replace her with another costume. Okay, I'll show you how to do this. First, we need two demo files. One, the demo file we're editing, and two, the demo file that has the costume we want. So, I'm going to open the hallway demo. And I'm going to right click and replace costumes, but before we do that we need to make a backup. You need to back up the demo files before you make a major change like this. In fact, I recommend backing it up the first thing before you even play it initially and start putting in your first camera paths. Uh, reason being is because corruptions can and probably do happen. I've had one happen to me recently. So back up and um, now I'll go to replace costumes. A list of all the costumes in the demo file pops up on the left. We can filter that list. Uh, you need to have the character who's doing this demo file with you, a friend of yours, tell you the name of the outfit they are wearing at a time. This will make it a lot easier to find them in this list. Also, do not do this at public maps, especially popular ones like Earth Space Dot, where there's a lot of characters running around, so it's going to be extremely hard to find the outfit you're looking for. Now let's open, on the right side, the bridge demo, which has the officer I want. And since it's my first officer, I'm going to select my first officer out of the list. Uh, it's going to be her name. If you have uh, her, It's going to be her outfit name, whatever you have her outfit set as. Me, I keep all my, first, my bridge officer outfits the same as my 
bridge officer's name. So it's very easy to find her. And I'm just going to select her, select the costume I want her to replace. In this case, it's my friend Jess. And click replace. Now there's two entries for every costume in a demo file, so you need to do it to both. And we are done. Now let's watch and see what that demo file looks like. All right, same demo file, same camera path, different characters. Let's check it out. Boom! Me and my first officer, Fry. I like her pink hair. So we pretty much know how this ends. While it's playing, I want to tell you, anything your friend does while you're recording the demo file will be recorded. Everything right down to their idle stance, their walk, any emotes they do, all that's going to be recorded. If they pull out their gun and start shooting, then my first officer would pull out the same gun and start shooting. It's really cool, really. You can get creative with this. Uh, just think. Just use your imagination. Alright, now that that's out of the way. You know those yellow words that pop up sometimes in game? You know, entering this area... So and so was given a Galar class Cardassian cruiser. Some of them are good, some of them are annoying. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But um, they also show up on Demo Recorder, which sucks because we don't want that on our YouTube video. Well, here's how you can get rid of those right click the demo. I'm going to use Hallway again. And where it says Filters, go to remove notifications. Notice you can also remove internal game command, waveform, scan cone, and effects. Uh, let's just do remove notifications. A list of all the notifications will pop up. Now I've already done this. So to show you what I mean, I'm going to do the backup that I have. A list of the notifications will pop up. In this case, the only notification in the game is lounge, which pops up as I walk through the door entering the lounge. So if I select to, if I click OK, then it'll remove that notification. If I click preview, it's going to start playing the demo file back and that notification will not pop up. It'll show you what it's going to look like. Now since this is my backup, I'm not going to do and I've already done it the hallway. Let's just see what it looks like now that I've removed the uh, pop-up notification. Alright, remember, the yellow word lounge has been popping up every time right here when we walk through the door into the uh, little cafeteria lounge thing. Since I've removed it, it shouldn't pop up this time. So uh, let's wait and see. Sure enough, it didn't pop up. So you can get rid of them so they don't appear in your YouTube videos. Isn't that nice? Now, there's uh, another thing I want to show you. Let's say you want the audio from one demo file, but you don't want the video. Now, there's a ways you can do this. If your video editing software allows it, you can separate the audio and the video files and just edit them in that way. Or you could do it like this if your video editor doesn't allow you to do that, like I'm sure a lot of you right click the select a demo and click record demo audio what that's gonna do is record only the audio for that demo and save it somewhere I've never used that because I don't have a reason to but let's say we did that And then you could take that audio and render it in a your favorite sound editing. You could put some effects in there to look really cool. So yeah, you could do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that, but just take my word for it. It is possible. You can then put that audio over another clip and it looks really cool. Another thing you can do is render demo will render the demo shot by shot in a screenshots folder. I don't recommend doing that. Um, I recommend just de getting fraps. If you can set if you don't want to pay for it, you can settle for the 30 second record time and just keep hitting the record button or 
fork out the thirty dollars and pay for fraps. So it will make your life a whole lot easier because clicking render render demo is gonna render a shitload of screenshots and it's gonna take up a lot of hard drive space. I don't recommend it. It is possible to do. And man, you can probably go in there and put in some cool effects if you do it, but I don't recommend doing that. Just, just me personally. If you if you think it's a good idea, go right ahead. But that pretty much covers the extent of the cool things you can do in demo player thingy, demo launcher. So uh, I'm going to show you a neat thing you can do, and uh, that is having multiple camera paths in one demo file, which you've probably figured out by now is possible and is necessary for making those really good videos. Okay, I've set up this uh, demo file. This is on the asteroid mining thingy. And uh, let's say you were wanting to make a trailer to showcase uh, Cryptic's new asteroid dilithium mining map thing. Uh, so I've set up several camera paths. I got five camera paths. There's a look around, a watch entity, two easy paths, and a shadow entity. And uh, I haven't ran it through yet. I mean, this is just to show you that you can do this. So it's not by any means edited or set up to look good. But I'm just going to let it play through. It's about a little over a minute long. So you can see that you can go through these camera paths one at a time in the order that they are listed. Path 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. And it's going to run through each and every one. It's multiple paths in one file. See, we're in our circle path now, getting a good 180 degree look at the asteroid. There's a light moving around down there. Now it's uh, panning to go to the next camera path. And you can get a good shot here. You see a guy walking around. He's got a light. Now we're on the watch entity. Now it's going to scroll straight up to get a good look at this ship. By this time the guy's down in this little crevice. We're doing a straight zoom in to the guy walking down there in the cliff. And we're on the next to last camera path now is the shadow entity. This is what shadow entity looks like when done properly. And we have a collision. That's the last point in the file. So it's going to just stay here looking at that little nav beacon. So turn fraps on and off where you need it. Or render the demo, whichever one works. Throw it in your video editor, do a little editing, throw in some effects, lens flare or two, explosions, whatever the hell you want, and you got yourself a movie. Upload it to YouTube and be admired. So that pretty much covers it. That is Demo Record in a nutshell and a complete tutorial, at least what I know about it. And for those of you who care, this is my desktop background. This is a CRJ200 operated by Atlantic Southeast Airlines. I took this picture myself. This is at Brunswick Golden Isles Airport in Brunswick, Georgia. Picture was taken a few years ago when I did a cross-country flight. Uh, I believe I was doing the pre-flight or the walk-around inspection to get ready for the second leg back to my home airport when uh, this guy came in and I took a picture of him. You gotta admit, this is a perfect timing of this shot, right as he's touching down on the mains and I got the windsock in the background and everything. It's awesome. So, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials and um, brainstorming ideas for my next video. And uh, see you around. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't, I don't really care. So, I'm not a, I'm not a subscri subscription beggar. Later.